Hello, Elizabeth. Hi. Hi, Elizabeth. Thanks for joining. Okay. How are you? So today, um, we will consider today's session as the last session, Elizabeth, right? Okay. And then uh, we will come back because mostly uh, most of the things are covered, right? Uh, what I wanted to really cover, incubator, accelerators, everything. What is the missing piece is the series A, series B. Try to understand what it is and we will look through the one pitch text on series A, series B. And then uh, our next program is going to be on, uh, where is the even, where is my Chrome? So, what, you know, you represent uh, Greg's team, right? So we will come back together on November 5th and we will have all the three teams. Right now we have three teams, right? Me and Mukit's team and uh, Greg's team, right? So you guys can present um, whatever that you have done so far. It could be if you have done coding, it's okay. If you have not done coding, you have just done pitch tech, it's okay. But whatever it is, I just wanted to make sure that we come together and you guys present what you have done. Um, you know, um, and you know, we'll do a pitch stuff and then we will close the session. And uh, what what we can probably do, I'm thinking is maybe we can order in uh, dinner um, that day. In virtual. <laughs> yeah, we, can, well, we can't do in person, right? <laughs> so uh, what we can do is uh, maybe we can, uh, you know, um, from uh, Testoper, we can order in dinner uh, to the teams. And then we can have dinner and then do a pitch and then close the session. That I think that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is um, what we can do is we can, uh, you know, whoever is contributing in next one month to prepare, let's say, for example, if it is Greg, two or three people in your team, Mickey, and so on. Other thing what we can do is we can um, kind of uh, transfer, um, you know, the, the dollar as a volunteer. You, you kind of volunteer it in this program. And we can transfer some dollars and then with the dollars you can buy the dinner and we can have a get together on that day i think that's what i would plan right uh, from now to then what i need from you guys is um, you know work on it and then come back and pitch on november 5th okay so elizabeth just let uh, greg know and i'll try to figure out whether to directly buy the dinner or to transfer the cost to your personal accounts as a volunteer uh, amount so that you can buy the dinner or whatever we'll figure that out from today to November 5th, right? We'll figure that out and let's coordinate that in the uh, projects uh, channel. Is that okay? So on November yeah. 5th, we're presenting whatever it is that we have worked on so far. It doesn't, because um, we haven't started our pitch deck yet. We've just been working on the website. So uh, given that it's not a lot of time. Oh, November 5th. So that's a month. OK. Yeah. yeah. Okay. See, what minimum I need is the pitch deck, right? OK. Minimum I need. Now, whatever the mm -hmm. additional thing, if you have done the website or you've done coding and you want to give demo kind of a thing, those are all our extra, right? OK. Um, right. So so that's that's. So the aim for the pitch deck and aim for the pitch deck and then the rest is just extra. Extra. So the more you provide, the better it is, right? Um, we can record that session and give it to Brampton that we have achieved this, no? Um, mm -hmm. So, so if you can, if you three teams as a three teams, if you guys can work together and pitch, that would be good. I uh, just want to make sure. See, don't invite everyone who has not been contributing, right? Um, so whoever the key members who are contributing, Elizabeth, in your team, probably it may be three or four, right? Uh, likewise, Mukit, your team, Miki team, uh, and uh, based on that, we will try to see how. I need to know the numbers, right? Uh, maybe you can give me, you know, sometime mid October, so that I can I can figure out uh, the cash flow required and how to whether to directly order and send the food to your place or send you the money for you guys to order. We'll figure that out afterwards, right? But I need a headcount, um, like in your team. Seriously, these are the three people contributed, and so on and so on. So then those people who are contributed will buy dinner and then we'll close the session on November 5th, if that makes sense. Well, I have a great team. We all contribute. <laughs> whoever huh? wasn't, whoever, I said, my team is great. Like everybody in my team yeah. contribute. Whoever wasn't contributing, they haven't come back. But everybody who is on my team now are contributors. Perfect, perfect. How many members are there in your team? 
Uh, let me let me count on my finger. Myself, Greg, Ash, Bryce, Mo, and um, Segal. I think six. Six, right? And Mukit, how many yeah. members in your team? Yeah. Uh, four, including me. Huh? Me and Mickey are on the same team now. Yeah. Okay. Merged. Okay, six. Right. So you guys are two, right? Yeah, we're four all together. So me, Mickey, Darren, and Coretta. Okay, six plus four, ten, right? And then uh, Shad, who's uh, doing this, uh, organized 11, 12. So 12 people. So we got to buy approximately 12 people dinner, right? So that's the plan. Okay, at least uh, with that estimate, I will start, um, you know, figuring out the cash flows for this. Good. So once uh, once things are ready, then I will um, let you guys know the date and time, 6 p.m., right? We'll order dinner. We'll have dinner together and we'll go through the pitch and then we'll close the session, okay? Sounds good, Elizabeth. At least uh, during the last uh, day, we have to make sure everyone is there, okay? Only who will be there, only will get dinner. <laughs> is all good? It's like Elizabeth yeah. dropped off. Sorry? Yeah, she dropped off. Or maybe she lost the connection. She... Yeah. Okay, Korata is here. So I think uh, the message is clearly communicated. Let's finish the final piece that uh, we wanted to do today, which is series A, B, and C. Let's understand what is this, and then let's look at one pitch deck on series A or B or C, and then we'll close the session, okay? Do, do, do. Uh... So you guys are, can still see my screen, right? Yeah, we can see it. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Is Elizabeth is back or? Yes, sorry, I got dropped, I'm back. Awesome. Uh, we have someone called Neeraj. Neeraj, uh, <laughs> hello, how are you? Hey, hi, sorry, I stuck somewhere, so got late. No worries, no worries. Is this the first, I mean, have you attended before uh, Neeraj? No, no, this is first time I'm um, attending Kata. Oh, okay. Okay. This is the last session of this program today. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so we have already done like 25 sessions around this. We oh, formed that's... three teams, right? Uh, and uh, close to like, I think together 12, 15 members. And we went through learning a lot of things that can make a person as an entrepreneur, right? Mm -hmm. um, so today is the last session uh, we are closing and then we have the final session on November 5th where we'll all have dinner together and uh, th these three or two teams will come and pitch and we'll close. It's just like an education session for someone who does not even understand what the entrepreneurship is and not in the tech field or really coming in and, and you know, learning everything that helps them to become an entrepreneur. That's the thought process. So Neeraj, yeah, please introduce yourself, Neeraj. It's that you have joined. Uh, feel free to introduce yourself. Happy to have you here. Yeah, sure, sure. So, uh, yeah, so uh, basically myself, uh, Neera Sharma, uh, brawn and brought up in uh, India so, and uh, started my career uh, in Bombay in l and Infotech. Mm -hmm. And then I moved 2011. So I got deputed uh, from the same company to Canada in 2011. And last 10 years, I'm uh, working in the same company. So I just saw this open source. I was looking like uh, how all these things work. So that's why I joined this uh, session, but it looks like oh, I'm very what late. Is your, what is your expertise? Like you worked on- I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, I work uh, for Infotech. So I'm a senior solution architect here. Okay. And what do you architect? Which area is it? Uh, um... The web development. Sorry? Web development. Okay. Mostly the web development, is it? Correct, correct. Okay, okay, okay. What interests you to become a, you should actually go and look it up, right? Almost, um, let's see, we completed a lot of programs for this year. We have only like three more programs, four more programs to go this year, right? So if you look at our past programs, uh, we have done number of programs here. Let me. You, you have the recordings of these uh, past programs? Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's lots, lots of programs, right? Um, so you can go to the YouTube and just search uh, Testoper. We are a non-profit, right? We do it as a volunteer. Everyone is a volunteer. Everyone helps learning from each other. That's what we do. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, um, so just to give you the perspective, um, if you are interested in telecom, if you have a background in telecom, you can join this. We are starting something called as a 
decoding 5G dot zone to learn about 5G technology and we are going to learn together, right? That's going to happen bi-weekly starting 9th October next week. Um, this week, Saturday, the AI and natural language processing session is there, mm-hmm. right? If you wanted to join that. Okay, this is starting new. If you wanted to learn AI, you said you're a web development, right? Right, right, right. So this would be a good uh, good thing for you, right? You can uh, join. Mm-hmm, uh, okay. Then there is going to be a couple of programs we have in November, right? That that's going to start on November. So I, you know, if you're not a telecom guy, probably this will not, this may not be applicable for you. But you can mm-hmm. definitely join this. This happens uh, tomorrow, Saturday. Yeah, sure. I'll take a look on this one. Yeah, take a look on this. Okay, so let's get going. I have a limited time to finish. Yeah, um, sure. Sorry, go ahead, please. Sure, sure. So you know, we have already learned about. Um, you know, the seed funding and why and uh, what are all the uh, different types of seed fundings are there. And uh, we also learned about, um, uh, you know, the the traction. We learned about how much uh, uh, the, the ownership that you can give. And we learned about, um, you know, who are all the people that are available who can really fund you. Those kind of things that we learned about from the seed funding point of view. Now, today's focus is actually series funding, right? So what is series funding? So once you are through with the seed funding, you get into a, you know, the companies go for series funding. Series meaning the name itself says, right, it starts from series A and it can keep on going. You can keep on raising, 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 right, uh, to develop your uh, product solutions and bring in new investors and so on. But what is the most important thing here is that series A funding, your product should be completed. That's the most uh, important thing, right? The the preliminaries and prerequisite, however you call it as. So the product should be ready, right? Without product, you can go for the CDA funding, right? And you also have a user base. You know, your customers are there and they are using your products and uh, you are um, getting consistent revenues and everything is going fine. Then you can actually go into the seed funding round and it could be, you know, it depends. Some seed funding is a million, some seed fundings, even I've seen series A funding like, you know, 500 millions and it totally depends on the market and different things that you basically um, target and that we something uh, learn together. It's called a traction, right? They kind of evaluate company evaluation. We also learned, right? They evaluate the company and based on that, uh, they, they provide the money. But end of the day, this is what the Series A funding is all about. The critical thing is the product should be completed. You have a consistent KPIs and your business is running well. And you wanted to really grow this business to the next level. Right. So that's the most important thing. If you look at this particular paragraph, the successful seed stage results in established customer base, increased revenues, growing team and expanding market. This often requires the startup to raise more money and that too at a big scale. So the previous one that we did was the seed funding, right? The seed funding has really allowed you to come to this stage. Now you need more money to expand it in a big, big, big way. That's what that's when you actually getting get into the series funding. So Series A funding from the official point of view, right? Even though we said pre-seed and seed before, from official point of view, only the seed funding is the first official stage of the funding. Series A funding is the second official stage of the funding for the startups to take their company to the next level. Okay, so that's the most important thing. Uh, There could be one investor can be involved and sometimes more investors are also involved. Right. Um, so mainly, why do you do the series uh, funding? Why, why do you get into this uh, series A funding? Because, you know, the product is completed. Customers are available. You are generating uh, some stable revenue. Now you wanted to add more uh, uh, product uh, roadmap and features into the product. You need more R&D to be added and you need more salesperson to go and sell. And you wanted to kind of uh, ensure that, um, you know, you you basically, you know, go to the next level. That's what the bottom line is, okay? So that's what the Series A funding is all about. Now, who who basically will give you the funding? And equity, you will offer somewhere between 10 to 30%. Uh, Again, like I said, it's uh, relative, it can change. But who would uh, actually offer is mostly Series A funding, normally the venture capitalist, but some uh, rich angel investors also can uh, you know, sometimes provide the series funding. If they can provide it individually or sometimes they will come together four or five angels and then they can kind of invest uh, into the series A funding. 
okay um, so that's what it is and um, again during the series a funding your company will be again evaluated this is very very important right the money that um, you have raised in the previous seed round will allow your company to be evaluated at certain amount of um, dollar okay your company is worth 1 million dollar 10 million dollar 20 million dollar likewise when you get into the series a funding again you are you know depending upon the funding that you get again your valuation will increase right and uh, the valuation could again depending upon the market traction and uh, and the market that you are addressing it could range in uh, different dollars but end of the day what's more important is every time you raise money your your uh, valuation of the company increases this is the point to kind of understand whether it is a seed fund or whether it is um, what is this uh, okay the most important thing is that uh, this how much ever the money you raise right depending upon the money you raise your company valuation will will increase and again if the market is a high demanding market some your company valuation will increase three times right let's say you got a series a funding of 10 million dollars and before you got a seed funding of 5 million dollars you have customer traction solid stuff and the market uh, has a you know um, high growth right uh, the servable addressable market is really high total addressable market is really high and you all know what all what all these means we have already learned that so if it is all these things are high and depending on that your valuation will also be high right so that's the key um, important thing that i wanted to make sure that that you understand um so when when you are applying for this fund like when you are getting the fund like a seed fund even the series a fund you have to be able to really explain to the stakeholders how you are going to spend that money right and it's like you have to think it's like a capital money right it's like an additional money given it to you to invest in the right places whether it is an r and d investment or the uh, marketing investment or the go to market investment or the sales investment or the business development investment or increasing the support uh, better uh, towards the customer investment it doesn't really matter right so you got to really able to articulate and explain when you are pitching it to ask for the right money and whatever the money that you ask in this funding round normally you targeted that your company can survive with the existing cash flow that is coming in plus this additional capital at least for next 18 months so those are the key criteria of the series a funding right now when you go to the series b funding it is next level again you need more money you wanted to uh, you know establish the customer base uh, in a bigger way right you need to add more members uh, in your into your r&d team and your product is validated and your consistent uh, you know series a investment is really resulted in the growth that you actually promised to the stakeholders it will grow so the, then once you get to this like 17 to 18 months what happens is well if you end of the 18 months if you are able to generate the revenue that can cover your existing cost you are good but remember at that point of time you are still going to be stable after 18 months right now let's say if your revenue is going to come in which is going to be more than the capital that you had to spend then you can obviously expand but nevertheless you know in reality what happens is you know you at every stage you need more and more capital injected to grow the company right especially when you are taking a startup from nothing to a unicorn right a billion dollar company at every stage you need some kind of a capital injected to take to the next so the more the risk you take the more the reward is right so so that's when the series b funding will come but there are certain conservative uh, um, you know entrepreneurs they don't they wanted to grow the company organically and they will not even take any funding and give the shares to anyone else right Uh, but there are uh, you know uh, entrepreneurs who wants to really take the company big and they wanted to take the company fast right uh, to the to the destination right whatever the targets that they have so they will try to prefer to you know inject more capital through all the sources that we talked about right uh, through the debt uh, debt or through the shares through the venture capitalists through the angels and through the various means that we already learned about so the series b funding follows the series a funding and you know a very nut, nutshell at a very high level they want more money again 
to kind of uh, take this company to the next level so every series after that it's always the definition is the same right you need more money to take the company to the next level you need more money to take the company to the next level so companies can go on with different types of uh, funding right uh, series uh, a b c d e and so on but the difference between there are certainly some kind of a difference uh, little bit of difference right but principally you you wanted to grow right you wanted to inject more capital to grow in multiple ways whether it is an r and d sales or whatever but principally there are slight differences between you know series a and series b series a if you look at it the most important thing is the product is completed and user base is established and you have a constant revenue right and then you wanted to take it forward now in when you are entering into the series b you have more confident that your product is i mean the customer traction is there but you you have more confidence that it is the right fit right uh, for the market that you are targeting and you have um, uh, you have the product better than your competitors um, or or even at par with your competitors so that's that's a little bit of difference right um you, your your product is 100% validated it is a solid product before you get into the series b funding and then if you see a little bit difference in series b as c funding is you are already in success and you are already profitable right in series a and series b profitability is not a major factor right in series c the profitability becomes the major factor right you are already profitable now you wanted to um inject more capital so that you can uh, grow this company to become more profitable so that's the slight difference between series a series b and series c but fundamentally all the three uh, all the series related funding is nothing but to inject more capital to um grow your company in in across all the cross functional teams so you can become profitable that's what is the uh, in in end story right so now you can continue on this right after that you can also have series d e f h you can go on and on and on right so supposing you are targeting in one market you wanted to expand your product into an adjacent market and you wanted to capture some additional market share uh, and you wanted to venture your product into a new industry and you wanted to grab it right so you can go on and on but uh, towards the end what what happens is you enter you enter into the ipo public offering right that's that's where towards the end right all the you know you convert yourself from your private company to a public company that's when you turn your company into an ipo and you start um, giving the shares um, in uh, exchanges like toronto exchange and uh, nasdaq exchanges and stuff like that um, different people can come and buy your share and as the profitability grows as the company valuation grows your share increases and let's say you buy a share for tesla for today 600 uh, dollars and as the company starts to grow the share grows to 100 um, you know 1000 dollars and you make profit on that and it's again a big business by itself right so this is what happens from the point of view of you starting the startup uh, all the way going to the going through the funding process and get into the final ipo public offering and now the more money that you inject the more capital that you inject the more responsible you become the more control as an entrepreneur you will lose right because people are going to give money they are going to take more and more shares more and more shares more and more shares so some conservative entrepreneurs don't like to give more shares they want to keep more shares with them so they end up not uh, injecting more capital but some broad minded entrepreneurs they'll think okay you know if i'm going to do it all by myself i'm going to earn 100 dollars and if i'm going to do it with five different people i'm going to earn 5000 dollars that's more than 100 dollars my share is 1000 dollars that's more than 100 dollars so it depends on various factors uh, market circumstances um the mindset um so the experience the exposure it depends on multiple factors multiple companies go on multiple directions take different paths go on multiple directions to reach their destination or you know change their destination to better places and better markets and continue their journey okay so that is what uh, the funding is all about if i go back here just to give you the summary of what we discussed right um, so three main sections we did we learned about the personal abilities 
um, learned about all the basic foundation things that you need to know to really become an entrepreneur. Then we went on and learning about, um, you know, uh, the product evolution, product, how do you build the product? We finished that uh, product um, understanding of how the product is built and uh, how the business cases, sales, marketing, go to market and everything is built. We learned through that. And then, you know, marketing, sales, business development, everything, right? And then finally, we came into understanding, okay, our third chapter, what is, how do we take from the idea to the IPO? What does it mean? What are all the different um, uh, funding that you will get? And what are all some of the basic things that you may have to define? And um, how do you create a pitch deck, right? So the, that's that's the storyline of our complete course that we went through. So as a last um, uh, part of our course, what we will do is, uh, last time we reviewed um, the seed funding uh, pitch deck. Let's uh, pick up one series funding pitch deck to kind of uh, review that, okay? Together, let's see. Um, and, and also remember this, uh, oops. The crunch base, right? I, we also talked about, right? You can get a lot of uh, details about different um, companies uh, that are uh, there globally and what kind of funding they are raising and uh, who is doing what and what kind of a product they have. So going and looking at um, this crunch bake also will give you what kind of companies, what you are trying to do, what kind of companies are trying to do the same thing and where are they. It could also be a validation for you, right? If you are trying to do the same thing as what they are trying to do, well, at least as an entrepreneur, if you have a strategy to take away the market share from them, that could be a still a good strategy, right? Or um, you can build something that no one else has already done it, and then you can go to that market and become a successful. So it totally depends. So this is a good uh, uh, source for you to go and learn what are all the different startups that are out there, okay? So now let's go to our last session, which is the pitch deck. We already went through some of the pitch deck, so let's choose... Um, one pitch deck today to kind of quickly browse through that okay to, to let's see this pitch deck used to raise 3.5 million series a so buffer i don't know what this company is but let's learn together what this company is oops pitch deck is not there canva seed round we have already seen it See, Series D, there is some companies who has also raised the Series D. So Father, here. you may need to zoom. Uh, the print is very small. Okay, all right. Okay, so 6.8 million Series A. Okay, e-shares. Let's, let's look at what they did to raise that money. So as usual, let's try to learn what this company is all about, right? So e-shares pitch deck series series A stage startup. So this is the pitch deck that they used to raise $6.8 million from a venture capitalist. This company was founded in 2012, right? Uh, by these two gentlemen, Manu and Henry. In total, they have raised $25.8 million in four rounds from 22 investors. Their most recent funding was $17 million on uh, August 13, 2015. Okay, so now let's try to understand what these guys are uh, trying to do and then we will look at, I just want to make sure what is, um, okay, they have the pitch deck. Okay, good. So we are good to quickly review this. So let's try to understand what this uh, company eShares do, right? So this is the definition that we need to go through. eShares is a SEC, SEC registered transfer agent for private companies that enable seed stage to pre-IPO companies to manage equity electronically with the participation of their uh, shareholders, employee auditors, and legal counsel. It digitized paper stock certificates along with stock options, warrants, and derivatives to create a real-time image of who owns what at the startup. eShares receives funding from a group of investors. This is interesting. So eShare is a company, the name itself says, right, eShare. So it basically gives the visibility of an another company. Let's say an another company name is... Um, Let's say Facebook, for example, right? So eShares product can be used to see who owns what uh, kind of shares with the Facebook, whether it is a private um, shares or a public shares or whatever. So that's the product of this eShare company and they are raising capital, right? So that they can give the shares to 
the people who are investing it's interesting but anyways so that's what it is uh okay so let's see exciting this this is we can skip here the deck review the deck is far longer than normal it i would write despite you know this is a comment from the uh, stuff right but that doesn't okay the total is 41 wow that's a big deck but anyways let's look at this quickly this deck and understand what are all the things that they have based on whatever that we have learned so as usual they are explaining what is e shares so e shares is capturing the next generation of ipo that's what we kind of talked about right and uh, it's 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 a product that basically allows you to manage the shares a person has in a different company that's what it is and they are a security compliant um, transfer agent so they are basically uh, compliant to the government right that's what they are doing so what they are trying to basically explain here is who they are we issue electronic shares right like we we already talked about options debts and derivatives everything they do it electronically we also automate their approvals and compliance and track the shareholders registry if someone is selling it and buying it everything so basically in the first section what they are trying to explain is what is that company all about so then the second session what they are trying to explain here is how do they make money so they make they charge 20 dollars per transaction whoever does in that particular platform if someone buys a um, uh, i don't know 10 shares for some money and each transaction they charge 20 dollars and they also have different type of pricing models but without getting into details what what we need to understand here is they are explaining how do how are they actually making money and then also they are saying everything else is free the reason that they are saying everything else is free mainly because they wanted to attract uh, different people to come and use it and then when they there is a need then uh, you know they get familiarized with the platform when there is a need for transaction they pay and that's how they get money of course they have multiple different sub transactions but leave that but at a very high level that's what they are trying to explain then they also have some add on uh, services based on sec government regulations right um, and if anyone wants to do that they can also buy the add on services uh, from them that also is going to generate them some kind of a, re a revenue so what does it mean so they explained about themselves and the, and they are explaining about how they are actually making money now the third thing is how are you doing basically they are trying to explain what is their current performance uh, with respect to their financial situation right which we already have talked about what are all the different things that you need to really talk about here and if you look at it at a very high level they are saying that they are uh, they are tracking themselves that they are going growing in their revenue 40% per month sorry we are growing revenue 40% per month so that gives the investor okay this company is really growing but that the growth may not be that good right uh, it's only 71000 right uh, but they are asking for more money but still the idea is they are growing right and um, and they are also kind of talking about uh, some split around uh, you know how the revenue is coming right but end of the day they are talking about convincing the 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 investor that their revenue is increasing and customers really love them and see they taking from the even bright twitter and then they putting that as a as a twitter you remember customer validation customer uh, quotation that we talked about and we learned uh, earlier they are also trying to do the same thing here and these customers are growing larger and larger because why they are saying this these customers are growing larger and larger because they actually serve these customers and if these customers grow larger and larger they will transact a lot of shares in the market and when they transact a lot of shares in the market because these customers are using this e shares platform they also will grow their revenue also will grow see how they are trying to articulate that to the uh, investor that's the most important point to understand and they are also saying that they are also getting traction from other areas and uh, the solium i don't know whether you know this or not solium is an another competitor of this uh, um, company which also does all the e shares like in my previous company all my shares were managed using solium account and they are saying now they now they have coming back right so first they introduced about themselves second they talked about um, uh, their um, how they are making money third how uh, their performance current performance and the customers are loving them and then the fourth one is they are talking about the competition 
and uh, they are trying to beat solium and then uh, you know then there's some comments around that and and blah 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 and then they are saying okay uh, we have we are lean and mean we we got lot of things done in a short time but we don't have money in one year and 1.2 million we built these are all the things that we built right we are able to generate 70k per month and growing at 40% per month we have 360 plus paying customers 2500 company portfolios are holding 300 million in private stock you know basically they are explaining to the investor we did a we did a lot with 1.2 million dollar but it's not enough we are you know it's not enough that's what they are trying to set a stage and then they are saying hey we are a small team but our team is really strong remember you have to always because the investor are going to look at your team i'm going to give money do they have a right people to actually deliver what they are trying to do so once they convince themselves that convince the investors that they are growing and blah 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 and they have done a lot of work with less money then they are basically coming and telling we are trying to raise 6 million to 8 million dollars to converse private market so so why they wanted to raise this now they are trying to do the public companies they also wanted to start uh, uh doing some stuff to expand their market share so that's why they need uh, extra money please give me the money and then they close it now the appendix like i mentioned they have some appendix so if come customers uh, are asking sorry investors are asking they are able to answer so like for investor it might ask okay you are making only 70k per month what's your goal right in 18 you know how many how, how much dollar you will make per month so they are basically based on their calculations they are they are projecting that Uh, they model if if six million dollar they get they will reach eight hundred k per month in eighteen months. That's what they have projected and they are sharing it to the um, uh, the investors, right? Then some definitions and also they captured the risk, right? And what is their market cap, right? Uh, uh, this this whole industry is market cap. How how big of the market that they are trying to address, and who are all the you know these are some case studies of the existing customers, some backup slides, right? how different customers are using their product and so on and whatever that is required uh, to to kind of convince them and most important thing is the valuation right how they are getting valued how their competitors are getting valued and uh, how they are expected to get valued because of this particular uh, uh, raise in this particular uh, uh, series a funding so if i go back to all these things you will realize one thing which is my closing note for today right you will realize one thing every pitch deck will have so that example that link is there you can go and look at all the pitch deck but end of the day a pitch deck is nothing but a presentation that provides a complete high level brief table of content of your business plan that's what it is and some pitch deck might have some points some some pitch deck might not have some points and what's more important for you is you have to ensure that your goal in the pitch deck should provide investors with the information that they need which can allow them to make a decision to invest on you so whatever you are going to say whichever uh, points that you are going to include you have to build it like a story and what are all the points you can include these are all the points vision and value proposition you guys know what it is we have learned that what problem that you are trying to solve which market that you are going behind and what is the solution to the problem that you are going to solve how was your how are you going to make money remember that uh, deck that we looked at how are you going to go to market go to market strategy that we have learned different types of go to market strategy how are you going to launch the product and so on who is the team very important you can't have like five freshers and go and pitch it nobody is going to give you money right you need to have some proven technologists who have done achieved in the past then you're going to get the money so what kind of uh, finance how are you going to use the money that you're going to get it who are your competitors Com putting the competitors is very important a lot of people think putting the competitors will uh, drive the investors uh, uh, not to invest because they are scared competitors we will never be able to win the competitors but 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 the reality that it's it's not true right why because if you have more competition that means the competition is making a lot of money that means you will also make a lot of money provided you have the differentiation in your product offering than competitors you will take away the market share from them it's you know understanding the competition is a good way of validating you are in the right track or not provided if you are trying to do something and innovating something where nobody has done anything before that's all that's that's a different ball game altogether right um, then how are you going to use financials number 8 point is how are you projecting your uh, revenues and how you see your growth that is your financials right 
um the investment and use of fund is what are the money that you are asking from the investors how are you going to use it it's very important that they know because they're going to track that against it right when they are going to sign a contract with you then some of the optional things exit strategy some investors will like it right okay i'm investing 100 dollars now after 3 years this company is going to give me 300 dollars 400 dollars i'm going to make 300 dollars profit uh, and some 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 investors will think about uh, they know that you can't build it all you need partners ecosystem to really build everything together you know to build everything then you can show the demos screenshots and any documents that you believe that uh, investors will ask, ask right so this is the bottom line and that is where i wanted to converge back right explaining you what are the different types of uh, funding that you can go um, and uh, get and and we went through the pitch deck and if you come back and converge here you will realize every pitch deck no matter whether it is seed um, or pre seed seed series a to b and to ipo and so on right uh, after ipo also you have to present it to the shareholders you have to share with them that saying hey you know the money that you, you you know if someone is investing on the share you become responsible to give them the presentation every year every quarter how you are performing and how we are taking care of those money that the people have invested how you you know you got to do that you can't you know these are all the complaints sec sec complaints right you got to do that you can't have something done incorrectly which will create and put you as an organization in the picture if some of you all from india you know the history of satyam right in india it was a big company and how did it uh, ended up in right and you also know there was a, a sahara right what was a big company and how did it ended up in right um, so there's a number of companies uh, which don't do things right they end up in uh, dissolving and um, you know ceos and everyone end up going into uh, you know the government um, uh, issues right and and even worst case uh, you know a uh, lot of different things right you know uh what happened to that kingfisher malaya right even now you are reading those news all those things are mainly because you don't really comply to the sec standards and you don't think don't do things right you don't uh, answer and you know it's, it's a lot of things are involved right when you get there but that's for more advanced entrepreneurs and if i start going on that direction that's a lot to digest and bite for you guys but from my point of view what i strongly believe is whatever that we covered in this course from start to end will enable you to become an entrepreneur right now in that and it will it will provide you all the foundation that you need from the personal attributes to product development to the entrepreneurship all the things that you need to really become an entrepreneur now that's the journey right um, now after that you are going to learn lot many things being an entrepreneur right that's a different story and that's a different session that i normally like to um share it share the experience with already an established entrepreneur right so so that's a different stuff and from our course point of view these are all the three things that i wanted to really cover and uh, we pretty much achieved that uh, i believe in our course like i mentioned now what i want from you guys right as a volunteers you guys can go back and um, you know spend some time come back on november 5th we are going to have a dinner together and show me Uh, this is the only happiness that i'm going to get me is taking time to explain and train you all the only happiness that i'm going to get back from you guys is you learn something and whatever that you learn you prove it in a way that you can prove it to me on november 5th uh we eating dinner together right so that's going to be our um, uh next next plan of action and i'm really looking forward whoever is there in this call go back to your team and keep your team intact continue working on what you need to deliver and please come back and present it on november 5th i will stop here talking any questions or anything from anyone please all good i have a question or just an observation kara yes. so the pitch deck that you went through and all the ones that i've seen so far all these pitch decks are for um companies or products that are already existing that like we don't have a, a product yet i've i've not yet seen a pitch deck for a product product that is uh, what do you call it, in process you know we don't have a finished product so we don't have something to take to market how do you do a pitch deck for something that doesn't exist yet i've not seen one of those pitch decks that is called as a pre seed and seed right you remember so if you go back to um, where is it uh did i close that 
see here this one pre-seed uh, funding round right when you go to the pre-seed funding round what does that actually mean where is the definition yeah the startup is at a nascent stage this is where you are right now right mostly you should create a pitch deck for this the startup is at the nascent stage as operations are getting off the ground right you can assume it's getting off the ground startup has found the market opportunity which you have found it you don't have any customers test products so, are developed what, what you are going through is this uh, can we use this format as a pitch deck uh, no but you are in this stage right now you, if you are in this stage you wanted to create a pitch deck so your pitch deck still can have all these things you can define your vision and mission of your product you can define what problem you are going to solve which market you are going to address and how you are going to find the how you are going to solve the problem with the solution and uh, once you have the product available how do you see this revenue going to increase for you and in our, and how you are going to market this product who are your teams and then you can say i don't have any money now and i need from you 100000 dollars khadar so that you know just for the sake of asking right don't really ask me i don't have <laughs> but uh, you can say i need 100000 dollars uh, from you khadar so that i can do a b c d e and then i can um, achieve this financials it's the same thing whether you are creating a pitch deck whether you have a product or not have a product uh, or uh, you have a customers the the pointers is the same only the storyline will change little bit right here the storyline for you will be everything you can do and then you can say hey we have an idea we found out everything but now i need to put together a team uh, and i need to develop this product and go to market it cost me to acquire my first first 10 customers it's going to cost me 100000 dollars can you give me that's your pitch deck now if you okay. are now if you have a product then your pitch deck i have a product uh, you do still do everything and then you say i have a product and already three customers are using it now i want to expand that to 30 customers and i need this money that becomes your seed right then you can say i have 500 customers 1000 customers and i'm generating this kind of a revenue now i need to expand more i need uh, more money that becomes your series a series b series b is you 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 achieved your product uh, whatever that you you know you validated it 300 customer became 1000 customers and you still see lots of potential and i you need more money but still the storyline is the same then you go to series c you show the profitable i don't need any money from any more i'm already um, profitable because whatever the money is coming and i'm able to spend it and still i have more money left out i'm profitable but still i wanted to double triple this profitable in order to do that i need additional capital series c but the story is the same no in every place vision and mission is the same problem you are trying to solve is the same target mark but that 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 little bit of change only will come in the form of financials in the form of what you are trying to ask and when you are trying to ask otherwise the pitch deck is all pretty much the same if you go and look at all other pitch decks there you will actually see it's all the same with little bit of twist where you are makes sense is there a, do you have that link somewhere with all these pitch decks yeah 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 your your source is always this presentation right in this presentation i have captured everything okay okay no problem you should actually take this store this presentation it will be very useful for your life i can tell you this much right it has lots of it in the file do you have it in the file yeah it's in this file right the, the link is here okay and you guys know where the file is right test over projects and then go to the business sessions and that's where the file is okay right all right i think we're good awesome guys so i'll let you all uh, to take a break and prepare yourselves come back on november 5th right uh, and i want to make sure that the team leads uh, because here greg is not there elizabeth i wanted you to make sure that you come back to me by 15th of october with the team members uh, who will be participating or not participating likewise mickey mukit and then um, i will from 15th to i will have 15 days to organize the cash and figure out if i can you know directly buy and send it to your home the dinner or or send you the cash to buy it, whatever i'll figure it out i'll communicate with the team leaders and then uh, accordingly we will get this whole thing organized okay sure perfect guys so you guys have thank you thank you for your time you guys have been uh, wonderful uh, listeners wonderful audience i really enjoyed it going through this whole session 
it wasn't easy we ja- started on january now we are in september and we're going to close in november so we have made it throughout the year this friendship and learning it is not uh, uh, an easy task to do right uh, at least we we have some consistent 8 to 10 people learn together this whole thing that's a great achievement uh, from my view for a new program that we started in uh, testopper it's a great achievement thanks for uh, your attendance your patience um, and uh, put up with me for, for whatever that i was telling thanks a lot you guys have been wonderful okay thanks a lot to you to kara for me i did learn a lot and um, thank you guys for keeping in touch uh, you know that uh, you know i'm always active in linkedin keep in touch you see the job posting that i do if some companies in my company as we grow if there are opportunities if you see the job posting please reach out to me um and uh, what else connect with me in linkedin and i will see you guys on november 5th uh, you have a wonderful uh, evening and please don't forget to join tomorrow's master class natural language processing master class harsha is taking you guys know if you have attended his previous session he's an awesome uh, teacher right uh, and awesome coach um and uh, don't miss it right uh, please feel free to join and uh, learn uh, learn the program okay all right bye guys okay. Take care guys bye see you on november 5th okay right. thank you father bye 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 thank you